I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Today we are meeting in the house of God called Bethel. Bethel. This is right on the top of the farm, the highest point of the farm, top of the hill, and it's overlooking a beautiful wetland. Folks, I want to tell you that Jesus is the answer. You say to me, Angus, I've heard that a hundred times. But he is the answer. He's the answer to my life. He's the one that helped me to sleep right through the night, to stop stressing, to stop worrying about my family. He's the one. He's the one that gives me strength to be able to say goodbye to my wife. When I have to get on an airplane and fly away, I'll be back, knowing that I will be back. And while I'm away, God will look after my wife on the farm. I want to say to you, the Bible says in Joel chapter 5, the book of Joel in the Old Testament chapter 5 and verses 4, and again repeatedly in verse 6, the Lord says, Seek me and live. He says, Seek the Lord and live. Folks, when you found Jesus, you found life eternal. You know the parables that the Lord told us about? If a man found a, a, an expensive a jewel in a field, he'd run away and sell everything he had and buy the field for the jewel. We need to do that. You and I need to start putting the Lord Jesus Christ top priority in our lives, and then everything else will be added to it. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Seek First, the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Okay, that's holiness. And then all these other things will be added unto you. I am not telling you something I learned at Bible college. I'm telling you something that I learned through life. Remember, I was a farmer. I raised five children of my own, 27 adopted children, many other children, and uh, people that had nowhere to go, and every month God paid the account. How did he do it? Sending parachutes of money out of heaven? No, not at all. Through the land, through the crops, through the animals, okay? But he gave me a clear mind because I had sought the Lord, see? He gives you clarity. I knew when to plant my crops, what crops to plant, what crops not to plant. I planted everything. I want to really tell you, I've planted tomatoes, I've planted potatoes, you're smiling now. I've kept sheep, I've kept cattle, we've got horses, I've, done, I've looked after pigs, I've grown cabbages, timber, sugar cane, you name it. But I want to tell you, the Bible says, seek the Lord and live. When you find the Lord, you find gold. You find the answer to life. You find uh, the way to bring up your children and uh, your family. You understand real discipline, not abusing or beating up your kids. I'm talking about discipline so that your kids grow up and love you. All my family are, are living right around me on this farm and the next farm. That's amazing. And just down the road. That is not because I'm a good man. I can assure you I am a sinner saved by grace. However, I sought the Lord. I have been seeking the Lord for as long as I've known Him. When I say seeking Him, to get to know Him more intimately. And this book is my answer. The Holy Bible. This is the book. This is the key to open the door for eternal life. This is the book that brings peace and joy and love. His name is Jesus. He is the Word. And he's the answer to every one of your problems. Seek the Lord and live. That is the message. Goodbye.